Okay. Well, welcome back to another Word of the Day video. And the Word of the Day is... Forbearance. So, yeah. And it is... Patience, endurance, self-control. Other definitions include... Act of forbearing. A refraining from something. And abstaining from the enforcement of a right. And a creditor's giving of indulgence after the day originality fixed for payment. So these two basically resistance. That one can be kind of a resistance. And that one could be. I don't know. But either way, let's get into the um, fortune, which is a long one. So, let's go through this. Forbearance was originally a legal term. Intentional delay in collection of a debt or enforcement of a contract. The expectation being that the other party will pay the debt or fulfill the contract. The word very, very quickly acquired the meaning patience, restraint. Forbearance is a derivative of the word forbear, which descends from Old English verb forbearen, to endure, bear, submit to, abstain from, miss, neglect. The root verb barren, to bear, carry, comes from the same very common Proto-Indian European root bear, carry, bear, as Latin fair, Greek ferian, Slavic, Polish, barek. I know I'm butchering everything here, but let's continue. All meaning to carry. The, profix, the prefix for is a dramatic development of the very complicated Proto-Indo-European prefix per, whose basic meaning is through, forward, in, front of, as in Latin per, through, and Greek peri, or peri, around. Forbearance entered English in the 16th century, 1500s. So what they noticed from uh, origin from the past videos, I since I began to go through the origin, is these words tend to be like Franken words and come from parts from totally different languages and things like that. So, English is kind of like a Frankenstein type language. Mix of everything. Parts of everything. But either way, that's about it. It's clear notifications. There's none. See you in the next video. Bye.